I catch a flight tomorrow, so I'm putting half this up as a video. So you're oh, okay. You're gonna, sure. Okay. So I just looked at the beat, listened to the beats audio, and that was great. And now we're gonna look at the music hub. So using the the, uh, the folder capabilities in Ice Cream Sandwich, HTC has taken it to the next step, and they've created what's called the Music Hub. Basically, it prevents clutter in your application drawer, your standard application drawer, where all of your music apps would typically sit alone and stand alone. It combines them all into one experience. All you need to do from the from the application drawer is just click on Music, and it brings you to all of your music applications. Anything that's coded in the marketplace as an approved music service will also install into this. So I went out to the marketplace right before the show was over, installed Pandora, and it immediately put it in here. These are customizable, they are removable, so you can customize this list to what you want. If you're a SoundHound fan, you can have it in there. If you don't, you can remove it from there as well. And uh, they mentioned it would also sync with iTunes? It will also sync with your iTunes music. Very cool. Absolutely. And Basically, it's got the Beats Audio and you can turn that on and off. And you got the Beats Audio that you can turn on and off. And so Spotify, that's anything that's in the Music Hub, anything that's in the store that's music will work in the Music Hub. Download, down, if you download Spotify, it would sit right there. It's going to work and it's going to work with the Beats Audio DS.